What is up guys, the main plays MC here, and today we are going to be starting a new Minecraft Let's Play. Now, I know I've made one before, but that wasn't so successful. But now that I'm finally done with high school, graduated, all that jazz, we are going to be starting a new Let's Play, which I will be doing a lot more often now for recording it likewise. So, as you can see here, YouTube Let's Play, LP, blah blah blah. We're going to, you know what? We're going to be noobs and turn on the bonus chest because that's just how we roll. And for the seed, we're just going to put in my YouTube name and see what that gives us. So, loading new world, building terrain. And as you can see at the top of the screen, it's saying Minecraft 1.10 pre-release 2. We are going to be playing on that for this Let's Play. So, I got a couple things planned for this se for this series. First off, today we're going to be establishing our base area. So we're just going to run over here, open up the chest, grab all this stuff, gather all that, bam, 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 and then we're going to destroy this chest, take out these torches because they will be needed. And let's, ooh, I, we might have, start, oh, my stupid cat bumped into my base amp, so I'm not sure if that's going to pick the, pick up or not. Anyways, I think we actually started in a rather good area, if you ask me at least. Spruce, over there, as you can see the mushrooms, dark oak, there's, there's like this little cave area thing, and then there's this swamp. Now, where to establish the base area is a good question. I think we're going to be staying, we may just stay in this simple area right or in this area so, bleh, it cannot speak today I think we're just gonna be sticking around here maybe we'll settle on the other side of this dark oak biome I don't know um, but we're just gonna take a quick look around the area see what we can find if we can find anything that would be of use or any good scenery that would be great so we're just gonna Keep wandering around a little bit, looking, trying to look around. What? I'm just gonna make this easier on us. I'm just gonna climb up here, and it seems that this just goes on for miles in this direction. But there is a little plains area, which is a good sign. Good chance of a village nearby. That would be pretty great. Oh wait, do I have auto jump on? Oh, I was right. Yes, this is great. Ow. I don't care though. Oh yeah, we need to open up our inventory and get the first achievement. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna run over to this village. I'm and we're gonna check it out. I'm definitely considering settling maybe in this little plains area right next to the dark oak. Possibly. Let's just see how that goes. So we're just gonna run over here. Oh, and a cool thing that I actually need to point out if you if y'all haven't looked at, gotten a chance to look at the new pre-release, um, instead of like the path blocks, they actually replaced they use wood for over water, which I think is really interesting. What's this guy, Shepherd? Yeah. Mostly, what I look for in villages is a blacksmith, like an armor or a weaponsmith, which is vital to getting well. I guess you could say vital in a sense to getting a good chance of getting rare items. But another one that I look for in the villages is the librarian. Now the librarian has a chance of coming with a um, mending enchantment. I've actually gotten a villager like that before in one of my own worlds, which I thought was really cool. But unfortunately, there is no blacksmith, which kind of sucks. But we are going to take a quick look at all these villagers. Fletcher, Fletcher. I'm hoping for a farmer. Just because, so that we can trade all these goods in. Shepherd. And get the emeralds to trade and all that jazz. Um, let's see. What are you? I think that might be a farmer. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're a fisherman. Dang it. Man, I'm, wait, I didn't get fishermen. Fishermen? Why are there so many fishermen in Fletcher's? 
There's like, oh, and butcher. A couple butchers. Okay. Um, let's just go take a look. Nope, there's another cleric. Clerics are good too. They're my third favorite villager, I would say, because you can get um, bottles of XP from them. That's a shepherd. And that would be great for like just grinding away and stuff like that. What are you? You're a Fletcher. Okay, so I'm not sure. This village was. It's kind of disappointing if you ask me. I mean, we still have a chance to, you know, if we, you know, if we expand and all that kind of stuff, then we'll be able to um, make a villager breeder and all that kind of stuff, get better chances of getting different types of villagers, which would be really cool. But for now, I'm just going to, oh my, I am low on food. I didn't even take a look at that. Luckily, we're right next to food. <laughs> so we're just going to take these carrots. I'm just going to chow down. And then once we are fully, our hunger is filled, then we're going to go um, take a look around this cliff area. I've always wanted to try to like build in a cliff, which I think would be really nice. Oh, there's a zombie there. There is a zombie. I don't want to mess with you guys right now. I don't want to screw up on the first episode. Like I did with Crafting Dead. Oh, and another thing. Uh, regarding Crafting Dead, I still plan on recording those. It's just difficult, so to say, to f get the correct time to record. Because my day mostly consists of working 8 to 4, Tuesday through Thursday, and then 8 to 12 on Fridays. Mondays are a day where I can get a chance to record YouTube videos, so that's a plus. I think some stuff that needs to be talked about this episode would be video recording schedule, uh, what to look forward to within the channel and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, I th think we're gonna settle in this area and maybe build our home right in this flat area. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be a good idea actually. So we are going to get started. Um, no, we got to throw that down. Getting wood, yay. And then we're just going to chop this tree down. And then we can make some... Then we're going to go do a bit of mining. And then we can do all that stuff to get the essentials. And then I will get started on the rest of the episode. Which would mostly be... Um, gathering the materials to construct the base and any ideas that I would have to constructing the base. So I might think of some ideas, build them in a creative world, see how that goes. So until then, I will be right back with that. All right, and we are back. That took about, I'd say, 45 minutes to collect the materials and the survival world and then create this beauty. Now, I know the roof, cobblestone, generic, but, you know, in this texture pack that I'm using, I love the texture of this cobblestone. I love it. Anyways, we're going to take a look inside this house that I created. This is the design that I decided to come up with. This uses all the materials that are around our area, so it's very convenient, too. So, go inside. You know, you obviously know this is all made in creative, but this is what we are going to work to. So walk inside, underneath these little bushes, our glowstone, have natural lighting and stuff like that. We have these armor stands for storing our armor, chests for storage, then a little, then couches and a middle table. You know what? We're going to do something real quick, just because I want to. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And bam. There we go. Perfect. Now it feels homey. Anyways, little couch area. Then back here is the quote-unquote bar. You know, get your drinks, quote-unquote. You know, potions and stuff like that. Uh, then over here we have our bunk bed. Yes, they still work even in 1.10, which I love. I don't think Mojang has ever, like, tried fixing that bug. It's just become so popular. But anyways, moving on from that. 
So over here, we would have had a basement, but you know, right underneath that, there is the bedrock. So we couldn't really work on a basement, unfortunately. That would have taken longer as well. But you know, basic crafting station area. You know, this contains like basic storage, survival necess necess ne ne necessities. There we go. But yeah, I also, I've gone with this window design before. I've always seemed to like it. So, I mean, yeah. Comment down below if you guys think that this would be a pretty good home design. Just, you know, for basic stuff. We can always, like, pretty it up as we go along, too. Oh, yeah. I also love this. I designed this. The little fireplace with the little chimney. Proud of that. Anyways, we're going to hop back over to the survival world. And... Yeah, I cannot speak today. And we're going to carry on with the episode. And we are back. Okay, so... Um, what we're going to do next is now start the we're going to start the layout of the base also collect the materials needed to start creating the base you know get some food because you know all i got is fish which oh god oh skeleton skeleton you scared the crap out of me oh my god Whew. that was close all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna screw you screw you there we go we killed it monster hunter achievement yes oh yeah um in this area there was some glitched water. Um, I was thinking about maybe having like th this flow into like fill this area as like a pond. I would think that would be pretty good since you know the house is going to be like right in this area. We're going to have to do a little bit of clearing out to get this done, but it won't be a, such a big deal. Maybe get rid of this little chunk of dirt and dirt and that grass and stone and blah I really cannot speak today my mind is just frayed anyways what we're gonna do is get started you know what um I'm just gonna collect these materials and we're gonna have a little chat about stuff so first off YouTube recording I'm gonna try to record as much as I can um, as I've mentioned before, I run on a 30-day Camtasia trial. So, yeah, I am lazy bum to, you know, use my own money to buy the full version. But then again, the full version costs about $300. And I would I say this application, Camtasia, is absolutely worth the money. Problem is coming up with the money. And the problem is, though that with YouTube recording, um, most recordings are just going to be based on whenever I have time to record because my day is very busy and stuff like that regarding work because, you know, work 8 to 4, Monday, no, no, Tuesday to Thursday, and then Friday I work 8 to 12, but I think Fridays and Mondays are going to be my main recording days, so to say, I guess you could say that. So, yeah, I'm going to try to record as much as I can. I'm definitely going to be working on the Let's Play. And as for Crafting Dead, I'm definitely going to still be doing that, too. And hopefully I'll be able to get into maybe some Skype calls with some of my friends that are on the Crafting Dead with me. So that would be great as well. Now, next topic. Um, let's see. What else can we talk about? I guess we could talk about college and stuff like that. Um, in the fall, I'm going to be attending college, so that's going to be restricting back on my YouTube recording time too, depending on how I get my schedule set up. So in the fall, I'm going to be attending Mercerius University. It's a local university of mine. And I plan on getting a major in English and a minor in history. I mostly wanted to get the English because I am one of that likes to write. And so creative writing has been a thing of mine for the longest of time. I've always loved writing, reading, all the nerdy stuff. So, yeah. I've even started 
um, the dra a draft of a book that I'm creating. Um, it's called Invisible. Um, if you want to know more, I'll be able to provide my Wattpad. I th think that's what it's called. Yeah, Wattpad. Um, to provide the description of... Oh, our axe broke. Th to provide the description of the book and the plot and all that kind of stuff. And what it's going to be based on and all that stuff. Oh, crap. I need to grab some stone. But anyways... Like I said, English mostly for creative writing. Now, why I say minor in history is because history is my number one subject. I absolutely love history. If there's one topic that I excel in, in school in general, it's definitely history. Because, I don't know why, but I'm just so knowledgeable in it. Um, over my senior year of high school, I've had straight A's throughout the whole year. And... So, yeah, I'm really wanting to get the history minor, mostly because I also plan on getting my master's in secondary education. So, yeah, I want to become a teacher, which would be, I think being a teacher would be a nice job. I know it's not one of the best well-paying jobs out there as of right now, but, you know, it's a passion of mine, so I want to keep it with me so, as I go on through life. So, um, yeah. Now we're just going to keep on getting some more resources. This is going to, this house is going to take a lot of resources. I'm just going to say that much now. Because it took me good, oh, 40, 45 minutes to create the house. So I just wanted to start this episode on getting all the materials that we'll need. Uh, maybe we'll also clear that out for our last topic, so to say. Um, well, actually, I don't know if there's any more topics to talk about. So, in the meantime, I'm going to cut this out until I clear out that little um, mound. And then we're going to get started on the foundation of the base. So, we will be right back once that is taken care of. You know what? I actually just thought about the final topic that I completely drew a blank on. Um, Mittensland, my server that I am lead admin on, and the updates on that. Um, we are still working diligently to get it up and going. Um, I believe the last time we had a serious server talk, I think we wanted to release the beta of the server on June 20th. I believe don't um don't judge me on that one. I'm not I I'm like 95% sure that's what we the deadline was. But once the server is finally up and going, then that's when I plan on doing some recording on there too. So that's something to look forward to on my channel as well. Now, what is Mittenslands for some of you guys that do not know what it is? Um Mittensland is a MMORPG server. I believe that's the genre that my friends have talked about it being. It's like one it's filled with a bunch of quests. You're gonna follow through a storyline, all that kind of stuff. There will be clans and a survival world survival world. So you'll be able to, you know, do your own thing as well as going along with the story and stuff like that. Which I think is great, a great feature for the server because I think that'll help with a bunch of uh, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word right now, but I think it'll bring a lot of people in, especially with after contacting a bunch of old friends that I've played with, I've played MC with over the years and all that kind of stuff that I've talked a lot of stuff up about the server and I'm hope to my friends and I'm hoping that they'll enjoy it just as much as you guys will once it's finally up um, maybe just maybe we'll I could talk to the server owner and see if maybe we could take a little tour through um, some of the features and spawn and stuff like that cuz our main youtuber for the server um, Steph plays he got a server tour 
So I'm hoping that maybe we can get one too, just for you guys. But just because I mentioned his name, I'll put his um, profile down in the description below. And there's the zombie that I heard. I'll put his description down in the. I'll put his link to his channel in the in the description down below, so that you guys can check out his channel, check out his content. He's a great guy, great YouTuber. I I watch his videos on a regular basis, not just because he's part of my family, quote unquote, for the server, but he's just a great guy in general, great YouTuber, and I'm hoping you guys can will enjoy his content too as much as I do. But as for um, talk now, I think we're just about done with that. So we still got a little bit to go. I think we'll just, you know, start mine this up as fast as we can. But you know what? I might just cut it out just for time's sake so I don't bore you guys as well. So, yeah, I will continue that once I... I'll fit... Uh, I'll come back once I finished re um, taking out this landmass. Ah, uh, what a beautiful sunset right over the village in the flat lands of Minecraft. But anyways, we've got the layout of the base, or the house, and I got some materials to finally start building the walls and stuff like that. But I think at this point, we're going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like. Comment down below if you like the design of the house and if there's anything you think I should add on to it. Like I said, the basement will be added later on. That's definitely a feature that will be a surprise to you guys because, um, like I said, I wasn't able to build it for you. But there's a zombie stuck right behind there. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that this episode. I'm definitely going to be working on recording, continuing this LP and all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping you guys will stick along for the long ride and many, many, many episodes to come. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.